In this video, I turned my FPS Cuphead game into a VR experience because everyone said to. Wait, I don't even have a VR headset. $400? Yeah, there's no way. No way. No. <sighs> Fine, I'll get it. Now that I have this $400 virtual reality headset, what do I do now? Well, there goes a week of my time. I should probably get started on making this Cuphead game into VR. So I went ahead and opened up a new Unity project and uh, now what? Thankfully, I found this amazing series by Valum and followed it step by step, which allowed me to have a working character controller. After messing around with the character controller for a bit, I ran into a ton of problems. I couldn't get the shooting or jumping to work how I wanted. For some reason, I could only shoot while holding my other hand or else it would just shoot endlessly. The jumping on the other hand wouldn't stop the player controller from bouncing up and down endlessly once once you press the jump button. After a few hours, I was able to fix these problems and I was now ready to add this controller into the main world. Everything seemed to be working pretty well and it just felt awesome actually being able to walk around. But what's missing is UI, so there is no health indicator or super meter or even a way to select the level to fight any of the bosses. Making this work and look good for VR came with some struggle. I really didn't like the health and super meter being on your face at all times, so I decided to put it on your left wrist. I decided to work on the main menu and winning screen next, since it was looking really rough in VR. Now everything is VR ready. Let's move on to the flower boss, which gave me the least amount of trouble. I just needed all the enemies to aim towards the VR character instead of the player, and it all works seamlessly. But it's actually so damn terrifying to find the flower in VR, especially when he stretches out at you. <laughs> The VR game is basically completed, everything works good enough, and I know you're probably wondering if I added any new bosses, new maps, any type of new content, and the answer to that is yes. Before I tell you what new features I added, this video is actually sponsored by me, so I created a Discord server that you could join to be able to get links to all my games plus future games, and there's also a way to sign up to playtest my games or be in some future videos. So go ahead and join my Discord server. Now back to the video. I went ahead and added the most difficult boss in the game, the Root Pack, thanks to Austin the bear for the models. First I started with animating each and every one of the veggies. The animations are pretty scuffed but it gets a job done for the most part. Next was implementing the attacks which was pretty straightforward. I just didn't add any of the parry abilities since you can't parry in this remake. The potato just shoots a dirt ball straight forward but that's too easy so in this 3D version I make it at least aim towards you. Next was the onion which worked exactly like the gatling gun attack from the flower so I was able to just reuse the code and make teardrops fall instead. Now for the carrot who has two attacks. One of which is the carrot that follows you and and another that shoots beams out of his third eye. The carrots were easy to implement since I could just use the same code from the green enemies, but this model didn't come with a third eye, so I had to improvise and just make him stick his tongue out instead before he shoots his beam attack. And just like that, the attack patterns are finished, but this map needs a makeover, so let's use Unity's terrain system to make a better map. Now the map is complete, but you probably noticed that the root pack isn't in VR, so let's just do that real quick. There we have it, root pack in VR. Sadly, this is basically going to be my last Cuphead video I make either forever or for a while. I've been working on this project since February of this year, and it's time for me to move on to something new. I got some cool ideas planned out for the next couple of videos, so you should probably subscribe, like right now. But making games takes time, so video uploads won't be very frequent. If I do come back to this project, I'll remake the entirety of Isle 1. Thanks for the crazy support from the last video. I was literally at 200 subs, now I'm at 30k. It's surreal. Join my Discord for updates sneak peeks and links to all my games now let's go ahead and watch this vr gameplay dude i can't wait to play this game Holy crap. oh i'm gonna fall over oh. 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 Oh, dude. this feels terrible how do i play Feels like it's actually coming at me. Oh. Oh, that was <laughs> this looks terrible, dude. Give me a real chance. 